occurred, the NAR, along with certain brokerages, were recently sued in the class action lawsuit known as Sister Burnett uh, by a group of home sellers out of Missouri. And the allegation was that the NAR was conspiring to keep agent commissions higher than needed due to the fact that traditionally sellers pay the buyer's agent and the listing agent's commissions out of their profits. Well, the NAR was found guilty. And in the latest development, the NAR has entered into a settlement agreement um, with some pretty big changes coming down the pipeline that will affect sellers, buyers, and agents. Let's talk about it. Traditionally, if a seller wanted to sell their home on the market, they would post it to the MLS with the help of a realtor. From the MLS, that listing goes out to every other platform and app and it gets in front of a lot of people, which is what you want as a seller. To be able to publish to the MLS and use this amazing tool, listing agents had to agree to share their agent commission with the agent that found the buyer. This is known as the cooperative compensation rule. And just for a little background, total agent commissions range from four to six percent of the total home price. That is split between both agents, could be 50-50, 60-40, 70-30, just depends on how greedy the listing agent is. And up until now, it was required that that information be provided up front. Like how many bed bath, what's the square footage, what is the commission percentage? Because the NAR believed that cooperating participants have the right to know what their compensation will be prior to commencing their efforts to sell. Like, this one's fair. But as part of the settlement agreement, uh, listing agents and sellers will no longer have to provide that information up front. In fact, they're now prohibited from disclosing commission percentage on the MLS. Even though it can no longer be advertised on the MLS, buyers and buyer agents can still pursue that option during the offer writing and negotiation process. Personally, I think this is a good thing. I believe there are some good listings out there that aren't being shown to buyers by their agents because the commission for the cooperating agent is 1.5% and they only work for 2.5% and up. So this will remove any bias around that. And this is how everything else in the real estate transaction is handled anyway. Offer price, offer terms, request for repairs, seller credits, all are negotiated with the seller and the listing agent off the MLS. And just because it isn't being advertised anymore doesn't mean sellers are gonna stop offering incentives to sell their home. I think it's all about structuring the deal in a way where everybody wins. Call me crazy. That was one of the two big changes coming from the settlement and the second